Hey, Merchant Center Mastery peeps. Uh, thanks for being patient with me as I get a lot of other stuff done these days. We've been like crazy busy, so that's been awesome. One of the things I wanted to do in this video is really just tell you about a super exciting change that Google has finally implemented. We've been promised that this was coming. I've mentioned it before, and they are now going, they are officially uh, rolling this out. So that's awesome within Google Merchant Center Next. And of course, I'm talking about supplemental data sources or back in the day, supplemental data feeds. So uh, Mike Ryan, I've talked about him before. Hey, the guy just keeps giving with information. So let's keep talking about him. So Mike, Mike Ryan actually let me know about this because I had heard from Google that they were doing this in multi-client accounts, MCAs different than your individual accounts. Uh, but within individual accounts now, it is also possible to do supplemental data sources. Now, if you're like me, you're like, well, hold on. I went to data sources and I don't see it. What are you talking about, Kirk? This is, this is, this is where uh, Mike sent the helpful thing. Awesome. So there, you actually have to activate this add on it's called, I'm going to get my fingers in there. Add on. Right. Uh, and so here's, here's where you go. So we're going to go and click on that. Let me, let me start back at the beginning. We're going to click on that, that, that setting there um, and the settings and tools. And then we're going to select add ons. Then in the discover tab up here, make sure we have discover. We're going to activate this advanced data source management. And so now when we go back in, we should have the option for supplemental sources and check this out. This actually took me just a second to find originally, but there we go. Suddenly we have supplemental sources. You can add in your supplemental product data feed. One thing I'm not clear on that someone may be able to help out in the comments or I can, I can uh, you know, sh shoot a video in the future as this begins happening, um, if we migrate a classic uh, Merchant Center account into um, Next, my assumption and my hope would be that that would all be activated and you would see your supplemental data feed within those supplemental data sources. However, I don't know that. And there have been times in the past where Google's you know, auto uh, migration tools have been super clunky. So just, just be, be cautious about that. Make sure you look into that. Let's figure that out. But all that to say, hallelujah, you now officially have supplemental data sources. You can now bulk edit within Merchant Center Next. One more step that Google's making in migrating everyone over to Next from Classic. You can now do that into your individual accounts as well. And that's how you do it. Thanks again, Mike Ryan. Bing and hope you enjoyed this.